Okay, people, it's been a good week. Um, we're going to check out this trailer one more time. And we're going to see if it's aged any better than I remembered it. Okay, so straight away we see a character. It says game engine footage again. doesn't say gameplay or, you know, it's game engine. So what does that mean? get this shit all the time we don't know what it fucking it means uh, we get this guy we've never seen before and we later discover that he's got a Russian accent which is kind of random as fuck sounds like that guy out of uh, the new Star Trek films anyway yeah, guy runs into the back, starts looking at some fucking stuff. Oh shit, the the fucking shit's going down. Oh, we're losing air. Uh, fuck. Uh, doesn't fix that, then randomly falls on the floor. And then you get this contrived hologram scene that is like ripped off of Halo Nightfall. The exact same thing keeps happening on Halo Nightfall where the guy keeps playing a video of his wife and his son over and over. I really hope this has nothing to do with the people that made Halo Nightfall. This fucking creature here looks horrendous. Like, we see the back of her, we see the front of her. It looks all fucked up and horrible. It looks like some kind of horror film. It's supposed to be fucking, like, a cheery thing. It's supposed to, like, he's supposed to feel better for having seen it and yet it looks all distorted and fucked up um, and it's cheesy as fuck and it's the exact same thing that happens in Halo Nightfall the exact fucking thing so that's the first thing that hit me it's like they're ripping off themselves they can't come up with anything original so this does not look like a Blue, Blue Studios cutscene so I don't know what they're going for here supposedly from what I'm hearing after this came out is this is the opening cutscene for the game and if that's the case, God help us. Um, this is terrible. I must have said that like 9 million times when we watched this live. This is terrible. That's my re reaction. And then he's going to find the chief here. Why the chief is floating in space. And at that moment you realise that they completely decided to just abandon the story once again like in halo 5 they abandoned the story from halo 4 and now in halo 6 they are abandoning the story from halo 5 that's what they're doing so you've got your forward into dawn armor here so it's not the armor from the last trailer or from halo 3 like people were saying it's the armor from forward unto dawn right the show the series forward unto dawn that came with halo 4 right so, since when does Jumper Cables bring the Ar Chief armor back online? Nobody knows. That's totally like changing the plot of Halo and how the armor works and everything. How long has the Chief been in space? If the Chief's been in, supposed to be in space, he couldn't have been in space for more than a few hours. So, how does that figure? I mean, how long has the Chief been out there? If it's longer than a few hours, then he would be dead. He's a Spartan. He's not a super like Power Ranger. Do you know what I mean? And this is what the problem with Halo Five. They turn him into Power Rangers. Now you have this goofy scene with this guy. I mean, quite frankly, if the if the if the game had just started here, and he was in a cryopod, and he wakes him up, and then we get flashbacks like as to what happened and shit, like a recap, then that would actually make more sense. So. All that bit before that was to set up this Russian character who I have no idea what part he's going to play in the game, but really I'm not fucking interested for how badly they write the characters in these 343 games. Why would anybody get invested in this character? The only one I like is fucking Lasky. That's it. So, like, literally. Del Rio, but he's an unlikable dick by design. Um, 
Then we get this Halo ring and there's a piece missing out of it, which is literally trying to bring you back to Halo 1, even if that's not Halo 1. They just all this game through is nostalgia trips now. It's nostalgia trips. Look, you got the Pelican, you got the Chief, you got the assault rifle, um, you've got the Halo ring, the classic music starts to play, you get to see the control room. It's all designed to just pull at the nostalgia strings, that's all it's doing. No substance whatsoever. And during the beginning of the game, the Xbox preview or something, we see uh, Narrows is going to be a map, supposedly, if that is for this, but it could be from the MCC collection. So, and they might have decided not to show that in the end. So, here's the control room. So, obviously, this is all irking back to Halo 1. So, what is the point? So, what happened with the Guardians? What happened at the end of Halo 5? Nobody knows. And then 343 Industries logo is getting smaller and smaller in the middle of the screen because they don't want people to realize this game is a free for free game and that's fucking it. And that's the end of that. That is it. Fucking shit. Where's the gameplay? So, so far, all they've done is confirm what we thought they were going to do. All they've done is make the same mistakes that they've made time and time and time again with the Halo series by not following through on a story they'd already started. Like, they killed off Julian Dharma in the first cutscene of, of Halo 5. What? Like, so, they failed. They completely failed. I don't know what they're doing. Okay. But at least I'll be getting this game for free along with Gears of War 5. And that'll be for the next video. So feel free to subscribe, guys, and uh, I'll see you later. It was a big moment, right?